It's Beckham. folks and welcome to another episode of rebuilding manchester united don't forget if you enjoyed the series and excited for the, excited for the video today hit the like button and subscribe if you're new as well down below are my social media links my discord and my second channel and twitch channel down below as well second channel has basically has non foot, foot manager let's players on it and my live streams on there as well so today we're on the note page because we had a bit of, bit of news um about a takeover possibly now there's nothing else come from this not a Indication of which direction you're going to go in a board takeover, a consortium, or a tycoon. Praying for a tycoon. First time it, it, it ever happened on my on foot manager for me. Um, but yeah, um, interesting people were paying offers. So no offers are coming yet. I would bet back it to be more consortium, if anything. I, I don't think we'll, we'll get a tycoon takeover. Um, it'd be cool just for the sake of me having one happen for once. But yeah, so we had some games off camera. Um, and they will affect the live comms. But let's go through them now and see and what happened. So we beat uh, Watford by three goals to two. A crazy game um, in this match. Absolutely insane. Uh, defensively, we were all over the shot. But ha go from Harlem there. The into free kick highlight, which you know I hate. It's just annoying. It's really frustrating. You can't see what happened in the build-up. It's just puzzle bit of thief. And then Watford took the lead. A um, bit of good def poor, poor defending there. A bit of unfortunate goal there to concede. But we came right back at them. Um, and... We started to force them to sit deeper and hit long balls. Bruno to kind of anger. Good buffer to Greenwood for on goal. I thought equaliser. I'll take that. Given that the game was gone. But we weren't done. Uh, literally, in the last 10 minutes, we were, we were more likely to score a goal. We really did. Here's Taylor's on the left-hand side. Taylor's gets the ball in the penalty area here. And a really good finish from Merlin Harlan first time. Makes it 3-2. A big result, um, obviously, in the title race there. And I think about a fair result, just about. Another 3-2 victory here against West Ham United this time. Went behind to an early penalty. Um, a couple of times the fullbacks have just been beaten and they still stuck a leg out after they've gone past them, which is very frustrating. That's why we considered two penalties and then obviously he scored one. Bruno got the equalizer there with a lovely finish, make it 1-1. One, one. Um, and we were, I think, again, a good performance in this match overall. Um, just not not great defensively. Solid, it's solid there. Great hit from Greenwood there, far corner. Uh, he's definitely had a resurgence this season because he's been playing regularly in that right, right wing position. Um, but, Again, it's Felipe Anderson down the left-hand side, um, unmarked. He was a constant threat um, in this game, so I did change Juan Masaka's role after that to be defensive fullback and sit back and stop that. And he did see the work. Here's Bruno Fernandes, great ball over the top, and good touch from Haaland, and he finishes it really, really well. Haaland's definitely, definitely back in the goal-scoring um, floor now. And another victory, 3-2, but we're scoring goals, though. So, this, so that's the, I'm focused on the positive side of it. Final game, we beat Porto 4-0 in the first leg of the quarterfinal Champions League. So this means that we have changed our live comms for today's episode. And I'll explain why we get the victory screen. 1-0 there, first first goal of the match. Hurling Haaland, great ball, wide to Mason Greenwood. Again, looking live down this side. He gets down the right-hand side. Ball in the box, Haaland, easy finish, 2-0. And I thought, here we go. It's really, this is the kind of game we are thinking, I'll go for it now and kill this tie-off. Took a while for the third goal to come, though. Rashford gets the ball. A bit fortunate, if you like, to Pogba. Pogba runs for own goal. Finds Haaland, who finished it beautifully 3-0. I thought that's a good lead to take to Porto. But no, we weren't done yet. Uh, and then great ball over top again. Here's Haaland in on goal. And this time he finished it really easily as well. Make it 4-0. And a four-goal lead with no way goal conceded. We're in a great position now to get to the Champions League semi-final. And yeah, as a result of that, I've changed my life comms. So league table, we are top. level on points with a game in hand over Liverpool. Now, obviously, still a long way to go. Very even. Could go either way. Now, because the the Porto game was so emphatic in the first leg, we are just going to do the Arsenal game in this episode. Um, the only reason I would do a gap is if it was a big game. Like, if, if, if that was Arsenal and then that was, like, Liverpool or Chelsea or something like that, I would do a gap and then do the next game. But it's Sheffield United, who are, if I remember, correct, if I remember correctly, bottom of the table. So I don't think there's any real point in, you know, in showing... It, there's no real value to me to skip, to skip it. So what... Next episode will be, guys, for the live comms next episode. It will essentially be, um, I'll see what um, the features look like. And we'll go from there. Um, but we got, I think we'll get to the final Champions League just by the nature of the four-goal lead we've got. So I'd rather show more of the Arsenal game 
I was focused on the Arsenal game more. Um, it's what I call um, creative privilege. It's what I say when I want to just do what I want to do. So, um, tactic screen here. Let's just get these guys set up. Um, Arsenal have been a nightmare in um, games recently against them. We've struggled to really deal with them. But over today, we can do better. Um, it's many game position. I don't, I don't think I've played 4 2 3 1 against Arsenal yet, have I? Um, I might have done, um, but I don't remember it. Easter mark the left back. So, I mean, those one that's not quite right. So, that's the best team we've got, I think. I don't think, well, other than maybe Paul, uh, Paul back in there, actually. Uh, he's fit today. Uh, Bay on the bench instead of um, Son. Uh, instead of Son. Um, and Zan Luke can go on the bench there. Yeah, just to try and keep all bases sort of covered. But yeah, I mean, we've we've found the goals now. I think it was just form that was the issue. Uh, I've not done anything in training before that Porto game. I, did, I don't think I don't think it did anyway. It just found the found the quality um, in the final third really. Um, so we can qualify for Champions League. I'm gonna say pick up where I'm gonna say pick up we left off left off last time. Hopefully a win here today. But Arsenal are my bogey to, I want my bogey sides on this series. So we're not expecting miracles. But we'll see what happens, guys. We're playing better than we have been for a while. But I hope it, oh, great movement there. And then on goal. Great. Oh, are you kidding me? Okay, I thought that was going to be a penalty <laughs> for Arsenal there. Again, not pressing in those areas. Again, I don't know where my, my defenders are here. Um, they should be marking him a lot better than that. And almost a goal for Arsenal. Just they seem to lose their man. I need to check this again because the, he's a right back. So the left winger should be marking him. I don't think Rush is marking him properly. It might be one of those things. He's, he's no, he's not marking him, but he's not he's not tracking him. But again, he's attacker marking the defender, so we can't really expect it. But it's just like just do do as I tell you. <laughs> not made a great chance for Arsenal yet though, but not made for us either. Pogba, Benton Kerr. Pogba is trying to keep position a bit more in these areas. Bruno Fernandes now with space to run into. Oh, why is he shooting for there? No, that wasn't on. Again, just the 50-50s, we're getting done every time. And that's a stupid foul. That's what I'm talking about. At the moment, my fullbacks are making silly fouls like that. He's pushed you, mate. He's not getting the ball. Throwing for Arsenal. They've been the better team. They've been likely to score than us. Thrown in. Bento gets it clear. Bruno Fernandes. Greenwood. Into Pogba. Now, now we've got a break on that, but let's see they've got five back still though. Pogba now. Erling Haaland. Bit of space to shoot, and that's the closer come to a goal a goal all game. But it had to be a counter attack, didn't it? Big Bruno Fernandez. Goes for goal! Why <laughs> funny, isn't it? They go in for AI. <laughs> Mine don't go in, unfortunately. Upacano. Cancelo. Benton Core. Upacano, get the ball, there we go. Pogba, again, out wide, good, good space out wide. That ball was on, no, I didn't play it. Pogba, with space, can he find a bit of movement here? He can, he found Rashford. Rashford down, down the left. Rashford, in the penalty here. Marcus Rashford, oh, wow, it's going out for a, a throw in, is it? No, I think he's going for a goal kick. And that should be half time, it is. Um, even game, even game. Um, they are further in the table, so, you know, we, we've got to uh, expect that. Uh, I'm going to send a happy performance out there because win this game, it's one of, it's the last big game we've got against a massive side before the end of the season. So if you can get three points here, then you look at the, you look at the fixtures thinking, you know, you know what, it's fixtures that you look at thinking, we should be looking to win all those games potentially. Or you'd be confident by it, wouldn't you? Come on, Bruno. Near post, go on. Oh, too much curl on it. It went to the keeper's right, where keeper stood. Tell us. Bruno. Pogba. Great ball to Greenwood. Base, base. Greenwood! Manchester United 1, Arsenal 0. That's what I'm talking about. Even though you look at these instructions here, we've got shot passing on, they've gone long with it and scored. That's what, exactly what I want them to do. Occasionally find that bit of pass, that makes sense. Manchester United 1, Arsenal 0. Great ball. I mean, again, it's very, very poor marking from Arsenal. I can't see who's marking him, who should be marking him. Oh, wow. It's um, it's Bernard, not Mark. Doesn't, doesn't track his man. Uh, again, fullback. Just not defending properly. One no against Arsenal, but we got that looked like more likely to come in the last few minutes. Still, I'm going to go in this game that we've been here before um, against Arsenal, um, and we know what can happen. Again, one from midfield not tracked, 
an equaliser. We're just not tracking runners in midfield. That is the biggest problem today. When they get the ball, they run straight through us. And it's 1-1. One, one. It's been coming, that. Um, that kind of goal. I've seen a few examples of it. But look at this. He makes a run. Where is he? Right past Cancelo. Doesn't track him at all. I might take Cancelo off. Because he's not defending at all. He's getting beat every time down that side. 1-1. One, one. Arsenal have shown the threat, though, in, for that so far. Taya, Upacano, Pogba, Zanlu. We're not winning. And now we're still going to keep the ball, period. Bernat down left. Poor defending again for Cancelo. He's coming off. He can't defend and say he's still starting life. Um, so I'm taking him off. Uh, he's coming off for Milito. Milito is coming off. Um, the Cancelo's getting done every time in this, in this wide area. So he's, he's coming off. I can't let that happen. Every single time we get attacked on that side, he just loses his man every single time, and he's on your, and he's on your card as well. So it makes sense to take him off, doesn't it? But we're just we're just getting done now down in the wide areas, on the down this side every single time. And I'm going to change the process again tomorrow because we're not keeping the ball anyway. So try and get the ball a bit, a bit quicker. Bellerin probably wins it back again. Just probably been really poor in the second half. But he's got the ball back there though. Tell us, get it forward, get it forward before they close you down. There we go. Probably got the right idea. Tell us. Can he, can he beat his man and find a cross? He can to Haaland, who gets the goal. It was I, I knew Tellers would try it. I, was, I wasn't sure he found the, found the gap to get it through. Manchester United 2, Arsenal 1. It's Erling Haaland, who's, I said in the uh, off-camera games, has found his goal-scoring touch again. Well done, Terry down, down his side. The only worry here was he'll get blocked. And it's really poor marking a bit off from Arsenal. He's literally point-blank range, and he's popped it in for 2-1. For Focus now, lads. Big result if he can get it. Offside. He's not very really near offside, is he? No, we say that it's not. I say nowhere near. Close enough. Close enough. I thought it was, but two one. Oh, instant highlight. Oh no, this is going to be a nightmare. If this is the goal it, straight away. Well done, Pogba. Haaland. Can we get? Can we get another one though? Straight away. Zanlu can get through there though. I put. I've just going to try and slow the game down a bit with position, but I don't want to put time wasting on yet because if I do, that means they score. That's the way it goes for me. Great ball, great sick ball. That I thought. Oh, I actually thought it was actually. I generally thought it was in. Then that's why I said it. Pogba, a bit of space. Holland's through. Can he finish it? Yes, he can. Manchester United three, Arsenal one. I thought the keeper had saved it. When the keeper got a touch, I'm pretty sure the keeper got a touch to that, didn't he, folks? If you watch this back, I'm ninety percent certain he got a touch to this. Um, great ball by Pogba. Look at this. Just into the space and. The keeper did get a touch, and it's 3-1. What a finish. What a moment that could be. I'm straight away just focused, lad. Big win if we can get it. I can't see us falling this away now. Uh, even if I also get a late goal from this attack, I, I can't see it happening. And that's a 2 for challenge. We're doing a lot of those recently. A lot of bad tackles are coming in. Um, from us. I, I don't know how to address that. Um, Bruno can play right wing for now. Um... There's a few bad tackles and missed time tackles happening uh, at the moment, which is very concerning as a general rule. But what a result this is. Surely the game's over. And it is. Manchester United 3, Arsenal 1 at full time. It's a massive win. It is an absolutely massive win. And Arsenal, the bogey team, have been beaten. Um, we're one of the bogey teams anyway. Fantastic. Now, hopefully Liverpool drop points as well. I doubt it, but hopefully they will. We'll continue until they play their game. But with three points clear... And we, if they drop points, we could be three points clear. Well, not, we've got budget, so £74 million pound in the summer. That's fine. I was, I was going to continue and see what the result is for Liverpool because that is going to be massive. Aston Villa, they're playing Villa. They could drop points there. They could drop points there against Villa. Let's continue. Let's see if they give us a bit of help behind Villa because I hope they do because that would be... Massive. I'm not sure who our game hand is against, um, to be honest. Um, ah, one five nil. Fair enough. Uh, didn't expect them to. Um, but we're top on goal difference. So look at that. We're top on goal difference. Oh, so we're top on goal difference and we've got a game in hand. So we're in a good position right now. I hope that can continue. So next episode, it's going to be dependent on... I mean, odds are we're going through Champions League 4-0. Um, if we don't, then obviously you'll see that. Um, unfold on the higher packages it will most likely be the first leg of the semi-final and a league game alongside it most likely 
I will obviously come out, I'll review what happens. I can't say now which game it's going to be because I can't, I'm not I'm qualified yet, but I made a decision to say don't show the 4 0 second leg because it could be a dead game. And Arsenal was more important to what to show you. So, yeah, I will see you next episode, guys. Hopefully, we can progress to the next round. Um, should do, being 4 0 up. And I'll see you all then next time. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.